As a mom of three with one on the way, a woman will call Maria worries a lot. At the top of the list, who will take care of her children if she's sent back to Mexico? I don't want to go to my doctor's appointments because I'm scared. My children, they stay at school, and if something were to happen to me, there would be nobody to come get them from their bus stop. Maria is now getting help at Alma Gutierrez's office. Since Friday morning, when ICE detained a man just blocks away, Gutierrez's phone has been ringing off the hook. She's the only U.S. citizen many of her bookkeeping and tax preparation clients trust. Now she's adding guardian to her list of responsibilities. They're like, hey, this is a lady, and just in case, she's going to go pick you up. And to me, I mean, that's, that broke my heart because I'm like, okay, these kids are just more scared than anything. On Thursday, when other businesses plan to shut down, Gutierrez's company, Exacta BTS, will offer free preparation of a transfer of guardianship form. It outlines what will happen to your kids if you are deported. Just last night, I had to have a conversation with my oldest and explain to him what an immigrant was. A woman who calls herself Marisol says she needs to fill out that form right away. He looked at me shocked when I told him that he was talking to one and started crying and asked what was going to happen. In two weeks, Marisol has an appointment with ICE agents following a DWI arrest. Didn't think I'd ever have to have that conversation with him, but last night was the night that I did. It's a discussion Maria hopes she'll never have to have with her youngest daughter. The littlest, I haven't told her, but she's heard me talk and she has a lot of fear. She hears a knock on the door and she runs to hide because she says it's the police.